Right, it's going to be a quick one today because I've got a lot to do. Um, but again, something really exciting, yes, something exciting has happened um, and I think I've just really nailed it. Um, basically, last night I decided instead of carrying on with the bank, I'd make start making the model, the, the, the house that Al and his family lived in, um, the people with the, the fish and chip supper. Um, and I started building, just thinking out my head, where would they live, what, what, what sort of place? And I came up with this. Now... As you can see, it's very basic, a bit grubby, and I realised I was being, I was building a stereotype. For some reason, the story that I'd built up in my head, and I really do not know how much of it is linked to the, what, how fat they were. And that's terrible. That's really bad. I'm really disgusted with myself that my stereotype view of us uh, is, is, is putting them into a stereotypical house that is, is is just bad so i then come up with ideas where who could have lived in there and i, I want to put somebody in there that is going to be that house is, does not belong to uh to al and um, he lives somewhere else and then i came up with an idea about different characters that live there one there is a story I've already written it's about a little old man who just waves to everybody walks past and he's got a lovely garden and it's covered of shells and all sorts of driftwood everything he's found off the beach and lovely flowers and he's always waving to people and everybody waves back and everybody knows him by his name but that's really all they know about him that's all they really know I just realized I've been shaking my leg uh, it was a habit of mine so I might have been jigging around then I do apologize if I was um, right but then I came up with this idea, and it's an old idea, the old name I've had. It's a character called Mr. Grey. Now, this isn't an original idea at all. It's been done many times. But hopefully the idea I've got is semi-original enough to get away with it. So Mr. Grey is basically a billionaire. He went off grid 25 years ago, and then 20 years ago he resurfaced. Nobody knows this, so it's all a secret. And what he does, he goes around the world and he goes and moves into a town and of a certain size, catacomb size, and he actually lives there for 365 days. And in those 365 days, he chooses three people to receive free gifts. And the gifts are one person will win or inherit somehow completely unconnected to them there was no traceable to him will win 10 million pounds the other person will receive help invisible help for the rest of his life they but it'll all be there to give them the most wholesome most enjoyable life every opportunity to give them a wholesome life will be there um, and then the third person, he gets murdered. He actually gets an assassin to kill him. And the whole idea of the what it'll be called, the book will be called The Little Black Book, what I've sort of said before in another one of these. And the idea is, is that you, at the end of the story, you read all the little stories, you see all the hidden clues that you might find out if you get listen to this, um, and you have to decide you have to decide the three people the one that gets the 10 million pounds the one that is given all the opportunities and the one that is murdered and that's the whole idea of the little black book it's the story of mr gray who is invisible to everybody but he holds the power to give money to give life and to murder so that's what it's all about. Anyway, so that's that's what I did last night. It's um, I am quite pleased with the model itself, and uh, and I'm very pleased that it it really just focused in that this idea, and it's because I felt disgusted that I was building a a a, a stereotypical building for a, a person that was overweight, and then all that what it implies. So anyway, um, I am waffling as always. So it's time to say goodbye. <laughs>